My name is Robin Carhart Harris. I'm a postdoc researcher at Imperial College London, and I've been coordinating the MDMA fMRI study. Uh, I'm David Erzo. I'm a, a medical doctor and a postdoc uh, clinical research fellow at Imperial College London in neuropsychopharmacology. The study that we are conducting at the moment is a functional uh, magnetic brain imaging study where we administer MDMA or ecstasy to healthy volunteers. The volunteers will undergo two scans uh, on two separate occasions, um, approximately a week apart. On one of the days they'll receive placebo and on the other day they'll receive MDMA, otherwise known as ecstasy. We're looking at how um, MDMA changes brain activity essentially. So uh, they'll receive the drug under control conditions and then they'll go into a, a brain scanner, an MR scanner, um, 30 minutes after being dosed. And then we'll start the scanning. And essentially, we're looking at how the drug is affecting brain activity. This study is designed to look at the acute effect of, of the drug on brain processes. And so it's not a safety study investigating the effect and the safety of using this uh, drug in a recreational setting. We're giving the drug in a very controlled environment. Uh, the temperature's regulated, it's not hot, it's not sweaty, there's not lots of people there. Um, people aren't dancing. They're um, by and large static in the scanner and, and or laying down. This specific study that we are conducting now is not designed to assess safety about the drug and we would only give it if we felt that it was safe to give this specific one single dose and we do uh, also based on the uh, prior evidence from other studies it's not the first time it has been given to volunteers in an experimental setting. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation about MDMA um, there's a lot of um, assumptions in among the general public about its uh, about its harms which might not be accurate there's a lot of sensationalism around MDMA so th that's really the importance of this kind of research that we're we're doing the science and we're looking for the truth essentially you know we're doing the tests and we can provide uh, the information that people need to properly assess the harms and maybe the potential therapeutic benefits we're interested in both elements the harms and the potential benefits and also simply how the drug works in the brain I mean that information really isn't out there yet um, and so we, we really need to do that and actually the, the study that we're doing is quite pioneering in that aspect because we're doing uh, certain scans which haven't been done before simply nowhere else in the world so we really are um, doing quite pioneering work with, with this drug. By having the study filmed and broadcast to lots of people uh, it's going to really address a lot of the mis misinformation that's out there about MDMA. So really I think it's, it's important and useful as a science communication exercise. Um, I think this is the first time that people are, are being given the opportunity to see clinical research essentially as it happens. Um, and so uh, there's a, a certain honesty about that and I think that will be of benefit to the general public and to us conducting the science and wanting our work to be seen as it is.